Attention gamers, previously on my journey to prove that a League of Legends player can actually be nice to his teammates I sought out to avenge the deaths of my guildies. I took down the Bloodsail Buccaneers a clan of clingy pirates led by a literal elf on the shelf to avenge Emmy. <laughs> Then I did what the Hunter and Fandy's group couldn't by closing out her only fans page before starting an escort in Searing Gorge. <laughs> I showed one of our fearless brainless leaders that I will carry on his legacy by escorting a selfish metal chicken through a humid forest and then I took down a guild killer in the Vale of Stranglethorn by stripping down to my willies and whipping axes at the troll to prove that I can be a fully natty killer and am not to be messed with. He isn't to be messed with though. It turns out I can single-handedly start and end gang wars in Westfall master the hardcore elements and overcome challenges where others have fallen but I'll still never be as good as a mage. I learned that at this level they can just go full-blown herd dog gather a crowd tell them to sit still and then summon a goddamn snow day on top of them until they all die. And while this is apparently risky and hardcore it just meant an opportunity for me to save an Elwyn hottie and then while she is drinking her loaf of bread try to run some epic riz on her. But while the magicians could just mass genocide mobs I was stuck questing and the things I was being asked to do were starting to get weird. Some paranoid drug dealer apparently buried piles of cocaine all over the zip code and now wanted me to go dig them up, saying that the only way to find them is to wear this dish satellite sponsored helmet while I was out there. What? Beautiful big booby nipples. But while this dude just wanted his dope, every other town's folk I talked to all wanted to send me to the same place. Zulfarak. 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 Zulfarak to the west. A high level dungeon which from my research is responsible for many deaths including guildies so I would need to ensure that my group was yeah, full of place, hardcore geniuses. This place is tough. Hmm. For starters I knew I needed to get one more quest, one that my mage already had but couldn't properly communicate if it was shareable. Ooh, interesting I didn't want to spend location. 10 minutes walking through Dick mm -hmm. Swallow Marsh and getting swamp ass but I needed to make sure it was actually shareable first. I knew that quests are shareable if this button is red and not shareable if this button is gray so I asked the little hotboard <laughs> shitter to hover that quest and tell me if it's red or gray to which he said like no, and then gave me attitude no. while also contradicting his already confusing answer. <laughs> so then I was like okay you fucking muppet simple question is the damn button red to which he said no which according to my demonstration earlier means it's not shareable oh only to then God. immediately say it is shareable so it's... naturally before I pull another wow classic and waste 40 minutes of my life walking into bumfuck Egypt I asked if he could just try to do it now and to my surprise he did share the wrong fucking quest before telling me to relax so yeah the that incompetent quest. midget was my group's mage Add that to the fact that my tank flat out would have died trying to solo a mob if I didn't run into him on my way to the place and let a hyena nibble my nutsack just to save his ass so let's just say I had nothing but confidence in my group going into an apparently deadly dungeon. The first few pulls were going fine I was not surprisingly winning the dick measuring contest but the tank was pulling faster than molasses going uphill on a cold day, spewing some riddles about mana when the healer's been j chilling at full and while I may be Rav, the avatar, master of the hardcore elements at night, my day job boss would give two shits if I said the dungeon I started at 10 p.m. the night before was being tanked by a sloth so I took the liberty of pulling patrols you know play a little bit of peekaboo behind the wall. Only to realize she didn't like this and started telling me what I can and cannot shoot but no one puts baby in corner and sure enough all the elaborate ways she can get me killed start coming out as threats. We then got to a room with big ass piles of cocaine on the floor and I'm thinking bro if only Marvin could see this but the group decided that my troll tempers weren't important and would rather I just wait the 12 minutes for the tank to pull the boss, to a spot where I can't attack so I chose to contribute in my own way. We arrive at the Spanish steps where a few friendlies were imprisoned so we politely asked their bodyguard where all his health went and then we released them only to learn that there is an entire <laughs> village who aren't exactly cool with them leaving. Mm -hmm. After a short eternity we euthanized the mm -hmm. entire incest ridden extended family and killed their leader but something seemed- Well for me this is a little nostalgic because I haven't done these things in 20 years, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm just sort of seeing it mm -hmm. and I'm like yeah this is why this is one of the reasons Zulfarak is so dangerous is because once you release these guys this whole army comes down there and if you don't pull it right they can all come up and swarm you so you have to sort of be careful about how you take them all down because you don't want a hundred of them coming up. Rav is not winning the dick measuring contest by those stats oh currently it's true yep <laughs> I hate to see it seemed off 
The little green goblin is all like peace I'm outy and that's when I remembered. Sergeant Bly stole from me. He said he'd only borrow it, but he stole my cherished divinomatic rod. Bly is a backstabbing douchebag and he wasn't a fan of being accused of such so I had to play the stand still and auto attack for 5 minutes while all 18,000 of his health slowly pisses off until we finally kill him and get back the divinomatic rod. Then the final boss is in sight and I've been patient so- we kill him with ease then everyone else finishes getting their quest items except for me and of course these board certified dickheads are all like Vale better luck next time with the drops even though they know that I know that there's 60 piles of cocaine in the other room so I figure if they don't want to help I will finish the damn quest myself. This surely would be deadly to do alone. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> but if I just dig one grave at a time I'll be fine I thought only to immediately realize that these mounds are like clown cars and I was capital F fucked. I couldn't run as I knew there were paths behind me so I only had one option. Arth. <clears throat> Get out of there. Yeah. Porofessor is an in-game desktop app. Once the game starts, Porofessor <laughs> scouts your opponents. Learn That's funny. Oof. It's also a good trick. Besides playing dad, just get the f, f out of there. I decided to take a small vacation to another country to clear my head before I attempt to finish that quest on my own because a homeboy in the burnt brownie of a zone searing gorge needed my help. Apparently his dad died in some mining incident and it was on me to stick it to the greed bag executives at the company who weren't paying out the dead dude's pension. I wanted to tell him bro you have the literal optimus prime of dwarfs up the hill go ask him but apparently <laughs> that guy was dealing with his own issues. You see, the climate out here combined with the lack of air pressure makes me fingers expand. They're like gigantic Thelsimar blood sausages, they are. But we had a devious plan to infiltrate these bitches which started with Four towers in flames Cut out the eyes and then attack their leaders was music to my Westfall gang slaying ears So I did his errands of attacking the serpent sting vaccinated burnt hot pockets so that we could construct a source of fire then he was all like, we will need a shaft. While his simp sidekick <laughs> McConnell was like, oh, I know where we can get a shaft you can hold master. We decided <laughs> to construct the shaft like heterosexual men. And even though my guide was like, hey, bro, now you just need to use this hole to fall to your death in front of 80 mobs. <laughs> I chose to get the shaft ingredients up top, which after an hour, I concluded to have a drop rate of around negative 9%. <laughs> Homeboy Vilarok was like, Dank, now all I need you to do is go shit on a few people's religion. They carry symbols and idols that pay homage to their god. Then return to me, watch me solve a Rubik's Cube, and McConnell here will teach you how to commit arson. He was like, Bro, this shit is easy, no one will have an issue with you walking and looking like you are about to light the torch at the opening games of the Olympics. He was wrong, but hey, I'm not above murder, and with that, the first tower was cooking. By the last tower I had a routine down where I would tell Howard to go talk to the guard knowing he won't be able to resist petting that little black boar back mohawk while I set the whole shit on fire and then together we will make like geese and get the flock out of here. I couldn't wait to go back and tell the boys that the surveillance was cut and we were primed to kill their leaders and avenge their daddy's death but homeboy was all like yeah never mind I feel like being a dragon today instead. And unless I'm just an idiot I got hard clickbaited by that now Charizard who originally promised me a gang war. <laughs> but weird unresolved quest lines aside I had to finish my own business which was collecting the rest of my troll tempers all because my tank unironically had a temper of his own and while soloing the ferric of Zul might seem dumb, Rav the Avatar is the dumbest. <laughs> Risky. Very risky. And so after 30 minutes of clenching my ass cheeks so hard together they were starting to cramp with countless close calls and me guiltily gambling a bit too freely with Howard's well-being, I was able to finish that quest so if my ZF group is watching, suck my ass, sincerely, Rav. 
But with that triumph under my belt I was ready to take on some supposedly deadly quests. The first being in the gaping chasm which coincidentally was also Russell's mom's nickname in college but it was also a labyrinth of a cave with Rude. like 12 species of bug in it and my job was to go into the deepest part of its asshole to retrieve some goblin's oven that he left in there for some ungodly reason. That was no challenge for Rav the Avatar but what I was about to attempt next was just a death clip waiting to happen. A congested cave full of elites and the main bald fatty that I needed was in the furthest corner and apparently yielded the ability to turn me and Howard against each other. He is rumored to employ mind-controlling magic. <laughs> I knew I Howard was going this. to take a beating and I would need to deploy now you see me now you don't bitch tactics on the ones of the Mitch Jones variant. <sighs> Anytime I pulled more than one my hands would get too sweaty to play properly and I would need to run out. <laughs> I reached the final pack of three with the mind controller in the back and I knew if I didn't go now, Respawns would cut off my escape plan if things went poorly. Oh my. The universe was sending me signs to just walk away and with my world buffs falling off and respawns it would be best to just accept that there are some quests that I can't solo, is what a pussy would say and mama rab didn't raise no bitch. <laughs> I love Rev. Will Howard? Oh, Howard. Does Howard come back to life if he dies? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's not hardcore then. No, he's not. <clears throat> this was this was this was reckless. <laughs> With a level 50 hardcore, very reckless. Although, honestly, I've done the same many times. Leveling Yeshua. And after running these bald mind controlling diabetics through the Stranglethorn Vale annual half marathon, my mission was complete and no quest was going to prove too hard for Rav the Avatar. Howard! <laughs> He's great. He's so cute.